Linnea, Linnea Quigley, ladies and gentlemen. How's your voice? It's fine. Your voice it's is fine. okay? Yes, it's fine. And uh, you're not chilly by any chance, are you? I'm always cold. I have that problem. I have to be under, like, warm lights. This is great, though. Well, we'll move this over and just put okay, it over Okay, yeah, a little sun lamp and everything. There. Now, how did you get into this business? This is something you always wanted to do? Scream I think, in the movies? I think subconsciously. I probably did want to because as a kid, it's like my girlfriends and I love to scare each other. Mm -hmm. And I started out growling, really, because my friends and I would, like, get together and we'd be dogs. We'd, like, each get our dogs' leashes and we'd, you know, leash ourselves to the beds and, like, have dog fights and things like that. I think and John, John, my friend John Hammond likes to do that. So. Oh, yeah. he does? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Well, I've kind of outgrown that now, but... Uh, <laughs> What, what were some of those films that we saw that you were in there? Some uh, of your favorites? Okay, Treasure of the Moon Goddess. Ah, of course. Yes. Uh, Creepazoids, which I definitely... I screamed about three or four different times in that. Uh-huh. You know, Creepazoids. The uh, Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolorama. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, of course. Assault Fabulous. Yeah, yes, yes. And one that's not out that was the real big scream was Assault of the Party Nerds. The Assault yes. of the Party Nerds. Yes. 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 That one was the tonsil shot. Now, how does one audition for this kind of thing? Well, what you do is usually you, um, they give you a script and you go in and they say, okay, you know, we want to make sure, you know, when I first started that you can portray being scared. Mm -hmm. So you go in and they have you scream. And usually, you know, you feel just so stupid because, you know, it's usually somebody sitting there going, you know, oh, I'm falling asleep and mm -hmm. acting real dumb and you have to act terrified mm -hmm. at nothing. At, you know, some director or something, it's like, oh, come on. Well, we've got a little demo here. I hope that, did they tell you about this? We, we, we want to do a little fake audition here. We're going to give okay. you a little scenario, and then okay. we want you to respond. We want you to react, okay? Let's okay. see if we can do this. Okay. Linnea, mm -hmm. here's your motivation. Okay. Imagine it's night. You're in your bedroom, all alone. You hear a sound outside your door. Who could that be, you ask, as you adjust your flimsy, yet tastefully designed nighty <laughs> that you borrowed from Victoria Tennant. You hear that sound again. It sounds like the breathing of a highly excited yet none too intelligent man. Oh my God, the door's opening. It's no, it can't be. It's Vice President-elect Dan Quayle. <laughs> Very good. That was scary. Very scary. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now, this new movie you're in is called Night of the Demons? Night of the Demons, yes. And is there, what's the story behind that? Okay, my friend and I decide to have a party on Halloween. So we invite some people, and it's at an abandoned funeral home that has a lot of horrible legends, you know, and mm -hmm. everything. So anyway, we invite these people. And, you know, we're having a seance, and things kind of go funny. And you're in a funeral home, you decide, let's have a seance. Oh, yeah. And bring some back. Yeah, you know, fun. just for fun. Uh -huh. And so, anyway, it ends up that, you know, I'm like, kind of having fun, fixing my makeup, and a demon comes in my mouth. Oh, I become possessed. A demon comes in your mouth? Yes. Of course. Well, not that way, but it does. Anyway, you got to see the movie. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, we, are we off the area? Oh, boy, okay. Oh. Anyway, oh. you know what happened. So, I anyway, yeah. I become demon, possessed. Yeah. Don't you hate that? But uh. anyway, <laughs> it's like, that's what happens, okay? I become possessed, and I, I just wreck havoc things happen. And there were a lot of special effects in this. Oh, yeah. Movie. What happens to you there? Yeah. Well, I just get very weird and I start doing weird things and, and um, you know, one of the things I do is my boyfriend, I gouge his eyes out. And <laughs> not a good thing to Something do. Something you want to do. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't think guys how, like how that. Do you, how do you, how's that done special effects wise? How do you gouge a person's eyes out? And okay, that's... well, I had to practice a lot because there's a special technique. Went through a lot of boyfriends thumb. on that one, probably. Oh, well, my boyfriend, uh, I ended up, the boyfriend I have is Steve Johnson, who did the special effects, and he mm -hmm. met me, you know, through doing the special effects on me after the show we started dating. You were doing some special effects on you, Linnea? Yes. I see. You see, he had to okay. do, he had to work with my breasts, so he's obligated to date me afterward, you know, he had to... He had to work with your there's breasts. There's a little trick in what there. What was he doing to your breasts? Well, there's a trick in there where I'm, you know, doing my lipstick and something kind of horrible happens to me when I'm possessed. Okay, and he was just following your breasts for no particular reason. No, 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 he had to do it for <laughs> a reason. To, so, I mean, I mean, a guy does that. I mean, you got to date him for a while, you know? you got to date. <laughs> or dust him for prints or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got a call? Then? Okay, we got a call for you, Linnea. Are you okay. ready for this? I hope so. Hi, you're on the air with Linnea Quigley. Kevin Hawkins. Hi, Kevin. Uh, I, I, I live in 
Kevin, get a hold of yourself, <laughs> Kevin. I know. I'm very nervous, too. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Um, I'm a, I'm a very big fan of yours, and I wanted to know something. Yeah, I'm, I'm all nervous. Are uh, you calling from the I'm bathroom, Kevin? Do <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you have both hands in the phone, Kevin? What are your favorite horror films? What? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I wanted to ask you, what are your favorite horror films? My favorites? Yeah. Oh, I like all of them. I like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and I like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and When a Stranger Calls. All Thank you, Kevin. Ones. Now say three Our Fathers and three Hail Marys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't hear me. Thank you for calling. No, we heard you. Thank you. <laughs> we got we got another call here. Hi, you're on the air with Linnea Quigley. Yeah, this is Glenn Barbaro. I'm calling as a representative of a tuba, the oh, tuba section of Louisiana State University. Yeah. Oh, I'm very excited. The tuba section. Oh. What's your motto? Like we suck on them, right? Lene, yeah. Yes. we'd like to compliment you on your attire. Oh, thank you. We dig your clothes, babe. Thank you. It's made out of tubas. You're obviously a philosophy major. <laughs> tuba material? Tuba material, yes. This is all yeah. tuba material. <laughs> okay. God's my eyes out any time. Yeah. Oh, no. Enjoy the frat party. Thank you very much. Hey, what's your address? No. Okay. Uh, what, what are the tongues made of? The tongues are made out of a latex type of material. And uh, they put like KY jelly on them so that they look real gooey and, and tasty too. Oh boy, yeah. And how do they make the ooze? The ooze is made out of watered down KY jelly. That is horrible. It's it's awful. But you love this work. Yeah, I do love it. But um, show business is your yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, show business is my life. <laughs> well, thank you for being on the show. Well, today. thank you. <laughs> you